Hey, and welcome back to the playlist all about red light, red light therapy, how to use it, my favorite red light tools. Let's get into today how to use red light effectively. So let's get into it. And if you haven't already, make sure to press subscribe so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Now, while you may have identified from the previous video what you could be using red light therapy for or light therapy in general, one of the things that a lot of people often overlook is how to use it effectively. Because of course you could go buy one and you could just shine it on the area and maybe you'll get good results. But if you want the best results, you got to use it properly. You have to make sure that you know where you're using it, why you're using it, how deep the level is and what frequency and how often you need to actually do this in order to get the results that you really want. See, one of the ways that I like to describe it to people is think about sunlight. When you're going out and you want to get sunlight and you want to get the benefits of sunlight or you want to get tan, you don't go out for hours on end because what will end up happening is you get too much sunlight and you end up getting burned. Red light isn't going to burn you, but we have to think about it in a similar direction, right? If you go out every 20 minutes into the sunlight, you come back in five, 10 minute break, you're not going to get burned because you're getting a good dosage of sunlight. With red light, it's very similar, although there is a mathematical formula and I'll walk through it real quick just so you kind of understand the reasoning behind giving different dosages. Power density times time equals the dosage. So the main thing that you need to know before you can actually figure out the dosage is how much power density your equipment has. So the one I have, this one, is actually 200 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So that's the power density and it's very, it can be very difficult to measure it yourself. So that's why I like to recommend Red Light Man because they're giving you actually the scale, how long to use it for, what you're trying to use it for, and they have a really good guide for that. But if you're using one from a different company, just try to measure the power density and uh, really so you can understand the dosage that you're gonna need. So next you gotta figure out seconds, you gotta equate it to the studies. Of course, again, this can be harder to understand to get to. I like to aim for a baseline of five to 10 minutes, depending on the area and how deep it is. Understand that because the light is getting closer to you, if it starts to burn, make sure to move it away, but you're going to have to increase the amount of time that you're using. That's how these dosages work. If something is internal and you wanna get it, like you're actually going for an organ or you're going to heal something internally, then you're going to have to have it on for a longer period, likely a further distance so that you don't end up actually burning yourself because the heat from it is high. So making sure to find the right dosage for different areas is going to be one of the most crucial aspects when it comes to using these red light therapy devices. Now, Red Light Man itself does come with a quick guide that teaches you the different light frequencies, which device you're using, how much the power density is, and how many seconds you need to utilize this device for on each area that you're trying to go for. If it's oral health, if it's testosterone, whatever it may be, um, I, my dad, for instance, uses it around his neck to help clear up his skin, and he does about 10 minutes a day with uh, three inches of space between the red light and his neck daily. So finding that out, finding out your power density times seconds equals the amount of dosage that you need every single day. And again, it doesn't have to be every single day. You could use it multiple times a day if it's a serious issue and you're trying to get rid of it right away. But once a day is what I like to shoot for. If I have it on longer distances sitting away and it's more for a de-stressing effect, that's fine as well because that's really gonna help you just calm down and flood the room with some good relaxing red light. You could use indoors, you could use in light, you could use any anytime in reality. That's it for this quick video. Press the like button if this helped you in any way. Put below what you're using it for. I'll see if I can give you some help figuring out your dosage. Otherwise, Please make sure to press subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future and get ready for the next video where I walk through the review on my favorite red light devices by Red Light Man. Otherwise, we'll talk soon.